Time now for our focus report. And Brussels Airport has spent €650,000 building viewing platforms for plane spotting enthusiasts, an expenditure that it says was made simply to welcome those with a passion for planes, perhaps future pilots. As security at airports continues to increase, measures like this are receiving a warm welcome. Our reporters have been meeting with those passionate enough to get up before dawn to see aircraft roll down runways. It's 6 a.m. at Charles de Gaulle Airport. The sun has just begun to rise, but Paul Baquet is already standing by one of the airport's runways, waiting for the dozens of planes which will land here in the next few hours. There are several planes on approach. Rush hour is roughly between half six and eight o'clock. We're about to get a steady stream of planes. Paul is a plane spotter, one of thousands of aviation enthusiasts who gather around airports across the globe to watch planes come and go. Some of them have even combined their love for aviation with their passion for photography. But when it comes to taking a picture of their favorite jet, location is key. I usually choose the north side very early in the morning. That's when the large planes land. And then I immediately head to the south side to take pictures of Air France planes, A380s and Dreamliners. And sometimes there are unexpected events. A plane has aborted its landing at the last second. That's the kind of picture you just can't expect. So you have to take advantage of the opportunity. That's going to be a beautiful picture. In order to monitor air traffic, spotters use a mobile app, which displays almost every single commercial flight within a certain area. It also shows the aircraft type, the airline, and even speed and altitude. Before flight radar, we used to just show up and wait for the planes to land. We had a notebook which contained the airport's scheduled flights, but that's it. We had no idea whether the flight was late or which type of aircraft we could expect. After each spotting session, Paul then posts his favorite pictures online. That's how Air France found out about his work and offered him an opportunity to display pictures of France's national airline. We meet Paul at Paris's convention center. For the past few weeks, passers-by have been able to admire more than two dozen of his pictures, which have been displayed in the building's hallways. But making a selection among the thousands of photographs he has taken was a challenging task. Some people like sentimental airplane pictures, like this one. The airplane is in the air, the entire aircraft is visible, and we can't see any details. On the other hand, there are very technical pictures where we can see every single component. So I did my best to try to find a balance between the more technical pictures and the more artistic side to airplanes. But to take pictures of aircraft at Charles de Gaulle Airport, spotters must engage in a month-long procedure with local authorities to obtain a permit. Other airports, though, have chosen to welcome spotters with open arms. In Brussels, we meet Simon, a 20-year-old plane spotter. But at this airport, there's no need for a permit and no need to scout for a location. Spotters have their own dedicated area. We don't need ladders anymore, nor do we need to keep our balance while standing on random objects. We don't have to deal with security guards coming over because we move the barbed wire. It's a huge weight off our shoulders when we're taking pictures. Brussels Airport built two observation platforms to give spotters the opportunity to take pictures and watch airplanes unhindered. The initiative has been met with praise from both Belgian and European enthusiasts. These three British and Dutch men met 12 years ago at Manchester Airport. Oh, city jet. That's the oh, yeah. Sukhoi mm -hmm. come in from, uh, from Stockholm. They're currently on a European spotting tour. And thanks to the airport's new facilities, Brussels is now a required stopover. I think it's still nice. Still this is fantastic. Uh, we have nothing like this in the UK. I'm from Leeds and there's nothing at all anywhere in the UK. None of the airports have this sort of thing. And it's not only seasoned spotters who enjoy this prime location. There's something in it for everyone, even people who are afraid of flying. We aren't real spotters. We only come here to enjoy the planes that go by. It's pretty incredible. 
I don't like flying, but I do really enjoy watching these planes land and take off. But being in one of them myself, no thank you. <laughs> Some companies have even decided to get involved with the spotter community. Brussels Airlines Belgium's national carrier has painted five of its aircraft with famous Belgian icons. On this Wednesday afternoon, it's the world's most famous journalist, Tintin, who is landing at Brussels Airport. The equipment, which also includes a kid's playground, is all made of sustainable materials. Total cost 650,000 euros. So why the investment? We wanted to please both spotters and families. Watching aeroplanes come and go can be the start of a calling for children and teenagers who may one day want to become pilots or work at an airport. So a place like this makes a lot of sense. In an era of baggage restrictions and limited legroom, plane spotters may have found the perfect way to reconcile everyone with aviation by watching the show from down below.